Welcome back everyone. Today we are upgrading my security camera, the RLC 410W with a new firmware. This camera is about five or six years in service and never got a new firmware because I just didn't thought about it. I forgot it and it happens. And there was no security risk because my cameras are not accessible from outside my local network except through a VPN into my local network and then to my media server. But this is something I could explain in another video. Now let's start with the upgrade of the firmware on that Reolink camera here. I open my camera info tab. This way it's easier to find the correct firmware in the download side. So let's open the download side for the Reolink camera firmware. I put the link in the description below and now we just search for the camera and download the firmware. Pay close attention to the hardware version, so you select the correct one. It won't work if you select the wrong hardware version. Now I just check the firmware version on my camera and compare it to the one on the website. Make sure it's a newer version on the website and then I can download it. Now navigate to the file you downloaded, right click on it and extract all. It's probably in your downloads folder. I just moved it to other folder here, so it makes it easier for me to find it for that video. You see two files. One is the firmware update, and the other one is like a readme file, and it explains it how to update the firmware from Reolink client, Reolink app, or your web browser. Let's get started with that firmware upgrade. We click on the maintenance tab all the way on the bottom left side of this window here. Here on the right top, click on firmware update, then browse to select the extracted new firmware, what we downloaded, probably in your downloads folder or wherever you extracted it to. And then make sure the reset is unmarked or you lose all your setting. Well, this didn't work out. So we have to troubleshoot, but before we troubleshoot, we just try it again and see if it fails again. And then we go in troubleshooting mode. It shouldn't fail because it is not over wireless network. It's over the wired network, so it has nothing to do with this. If you're interested in upgrading an over wireless network, you might want to watch the next episode when I do a 511, no, it's a 510 WA. It's exactly the same as the 410, just has some more options and I'm going to upgrade that wirelessly. But now back to this one and let's start troubleshooting. In my case, I can rule out the network issue and all the other issues. So the only issue what it could be is that the firmware is a lot too old and i hope they will support it because i have no clue it's a real old camera i'm gonna open a support ticket and see how that goes usually i have great luck with reolink they are really fantastic in responding
today it's the next day but Reolink replied yesterday already to my request via email we have to install first three other firmware versions we download them install them they call them transitional versions and uh, then I should be up to date or I can install the latest version Okay, that worked out so we have two more to upgrade and it has to be in a specific order like it mentioned in the email so let's just move on and do the last two As you will see, the second update finishes without any issues. The third did also, there was off camera. And that brings us basically to the end of this video. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Just click on the logo on the right bottom and subscribe. Would really help me out. Thank you so much.